Hi guys, it's Ben here, Liverpool have just been beaten again, away from home at a good side, Tottenham Hotspur 4-1 this time, another battering, leaking more goals again, 15 now conceded away from home, more than any other side in the Premier League, utterly, utterly embarrassing, disgraceful, not good enough, rudderless, bottleless, just fuck off, fuck off Liverpool, I mean that was a disgrace, I mean we came into this game relatively upbeat, we played well against United last week, got a nil nil, although they, they did part of the bus, so... Um, whether we can say we got on it or not up for debate. Beat Maribor 7 0, come into this feeling pretty good, thinking we can snatch a point at least, and then we throw it away. And a, a, an early stupid goal from Lovren. <sighs> Fuck Dan Lovren, man. Like, wh when are we gonna? When are we gonna fucking solve this? When are we gonna solve it? And, and he's, in, he's embarrassed for the second goal as well. The third goal's a disgrace. Matip with another poor header. We don't close Ali down. Uh, and the fourth goal. Look, I mean Mignolet is not done himself any favours at all here. Look, I tweeted before the game saying I was happy with the team, um, so I can't moan a clock for that. I'm ha I was happy with the team in the sense that with the players we've got to work with, that was a team we probably should have picked. Doesn't mean I'm happy with the squad as a whole, as I've made clear time and time again. These defenders will keep letting you down. They've let us down again. We're not anywhere near as good as Tottenham Hotspur as a football team. We're not even as good as fucking Arsenal. Um, who are probably going to end up finishing higher than us this season. Look, I'm being negative, we've lost, I'm fickle, I know, I was positive the other day, of course I'm fickle, of course I'm upset, of course I'm negative, we've just been beaten 4-1 again, we've just been absolutely battered again. This isn't good enough, this is another write-off season, as I said after, what was it, after Burnley or after Leicester or something, like, you know, I've, I've said for months this is a write-off season, fucking disgrace that it's come to this, disgrace that we didn't sign anyone in the, useful in, in, in the window apart from Salah and the midfield was, wasn't was necessarily, you know, I mean Emre Chan was crap, Emre Chan was a fucking joke today, all of the, I mean Matip and Lovren joke, Gomez a bit overawed, don't really want to blame him too much, Moreno the same, I mean he didn't really do much wrong but the centre back's not good enough, the keeper not good enough, Emre Chan wasn't good enough today, the, the spine of that team was not good enough, Firmino didn't get into it much, we're just weak. We're just we're just nothing. We're just we're not a team of men. We're not we're not leaders. We're not winners. We're not fucking good enough. I will go through the player ratings quickly because I don't want to spend any long thinking about this fucking shambles anymore. Uh, Minule four out of ten. Gomez six. Matip four. Lovren th zero. Moreno six. Uh, Henderson six. Chan three. Milner five. Firmino five. Coutinho seven. Salah. Seven. Uh, Salaman and match for the for the goal and for the work rate and everything, but then product wasn't what it, what it should have been. Sturridge comes on, of course he does fuck all. Um, I don't want to be harsh on the guy, I love him, but fucking hell, does he does he have some games where he does fuck all? Oxlade Chamberlain, six does okay. Um, a few nice runs and some good deliveries. Fuck this team, honestly. We're never gonna learn. We, we've been watching the same shit since two thousand and thirteen. Um, as far as our defence is concerned, our defence has been the downfall since Jamie Carragher left, since Daniel Aga started to fade, since obviously Hippier. And when are we going to fucking sort it? Because I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to watch this shit anymore. I, I love the seven nils against Maribor, of course, and I, and I love the, the the games against Man United where where we're on top and and not having to deal with much the other way. Um, but as soon as a good team comes up against us, as soon as we have to go away from home against a good team, we don't know what we're doing, we turn into fucking babies, and I expect us to get battered at every big game. I, 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 know, we had a good, um, I know we had a good record last season in big games. Look, we've not progressed. Every other team has progressed, the Premier League's getting better, the team's a bit of signing big, and our defenders, Matip and Lovren, they're regressing. Nathaniel Klein's injury doesn't help, I know. Lallana's injury doesn't help, I know. We can't push from the front, but that's not an excuse. Manny's injury, of course, no excuses. We get injuries a lot because of our style, and we have to live with it. Our squad's not good enough. The manager, look, he picks the right team today, but he is getting punished for an absolutely appalling summer. And I'm sorry, but the people that were saying to me in the end of the summer that it was a good window, but, uh, and some of you were saying it was better than expected. Some people on Twitter, some people that I know and like and respect were saying it was better than expected because we got continuing to stay. We brought in Salah, Oxlade-Chamberlain and sort of cater for next year and brought Robertson in as well. I'm sorry. 
The window was a disgrace. We are a disgrace when we go to the big games and we are not going to finish in the top four this season. We're going to finish fifth or sixth, probably sixth. I think Arsenal will just be a bit too good. Um, we're out of the League Cup, FA Cup. Uh, is what it is. We, you know, we Europe. We're just not good enough against the big teams away from home, um, and we're not good enough finishing our chances at home against the crap teams either. So it's a recipe for a for a finish outside the top five. And uh, this is heat at the moment. I'm probably going to calm down. Um, I'm still going to go to the games. I still love Liverpool, of course. I still I still keep doing this. Um, and I'll still keep watching every game and I'll still keep going to most of them. I can get a ticket for today. Um, you know, I'll still have time for Jurgen Klopp, of course. Uh, I'm losing patience. I, I, my patience was, was, was gone a long time ago, but the City 5 0 wasn't the freak. It was just us going into our shells, being overawed by better footballers. There's a lot of teams in this league with better footballers than us, and we're being found out. Just like we were found out in January and February. That's the truth of it. I'm being negative. You're going to leave comments. Some of you are going to unsubscribe because I'm being too negative. Um, and th look, and I'm and I'm, I know I'm being fickle. I know I'm being fickle. I was happy after the seven nil. Of course I was. Of course I was. There's a lot that needs to change at this football club. A lot that needs to change at this football club, whether you want to admit it or not, whether you say we're just a couple of players away, whether you say we're just a couple of injury returns away, whether you say we're just it's going to click at some point, the same problems are going to arise. We're weak. We're not a team of men. Spurs are a team of men. You see that defence. That's a team of men. Chelsea, for all their flaws, they're a team of men. Man United, yes, they lose, but they're going to bounce back. City, I mean, what a team of men that is. Arsenal not 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 going to give them that title because I think they got the same issues as us. They got they they got more world class players, so they, they may well finish above us. Um, Emery Chan's heads in Juventus. Coutinho's heads maybe elsewhere, although he's still playing well at the moment. Daniel Sturridge's head seems to have been gone so far this season, and the defence is a fucking shambles. And I'm sick of it. And I'll see you next time.